Hey guys, this is Wolfie here with the Decidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia Global Video for the 29th of May 2019. And this is mainly going to go over the June calendar in a little bit more detail. I do want to admit that there's somebody I predicted that's going to be on the calendar and they're not. So I'm going to be a an adult and admit to that right away. And I'm also going to go over a little bit on the... On the, on the on the limited bundles, all that good stuff, and my honest opinion on and that, as well as a little bit on the seventy boards, because I was doing a little looking around just to get myself get my feet a little bit in the water. Then we're gonna go over a little bit of the ninety CP armors and the ninety CP. That's the base. The max is gonna be one hundred and twenty. And I do will say I do have a cat. He might be meowing in the background, so. If that offends you, I do apologize for the cat meowing. He's just one of those guys, go to the, one of those cats that likes attention when he feels like it. So, we're going to go into the calendar first and foremost. And you'll notice here on the calendar, you see Rosa once again. And I'm not so sure why that is, because we have the Rosa event ongoing right now until the 10th of June. And this is in UTC. Of course, you see here at the on the right side, closer to the top, content subject to change. So we still have some stuff coming up after the stuff at the very bottom of this very calendar. So on the 30th, 30th of May, which is going to be tonight if you're in the United States or west of the UTC time zone, it's going to be the, the uh, global premiere of the World of Illusions Ultimate Ifrit. Ifrit, Ifrit, I, I, I go both ways on that one. Now, mind you, you'll notice here that this is not time limited. We're going to go over a little bit on the panel stuff here and there, so that way we have an idea of what, what to expect. Then from the on the 3rd of June to the 3rd of July, it's going to be Perfectum Lost Chapter Trial Set 1. Now, this is going to be an event where you get bosses and foes from the Lost Chapters that are from Squall to Sabin. And it's not going to be as difficult as the Power and Chasms. Um, like for both Delta and Theta. Because those were quite tough. And speaking of those two. You have until about 9pm Central Daylight Time tonight to get those done. And, but I will say here that with this particular Lost Chapter Trials, it's going to be the same thing as the Power of Chasms, Chases, however you want to pronounce it. You cannot use the same team twice in certain va in fights, you know. Now, on the th also on the 3rd of June, this is going to be the um, global premiere of the Lost Chapter for Kafka for Final Fantasy VI. Alongside of it is the Radiant Artifacts. I was told on the Twitch stream that we'll be seeing the Idosia Artifacts for Kefka. That I believe is going to be Tifa and Bart as well. Because Tifa and Bart are the synergy characters with Kefka for this particular event slash last chapter. Now on the 7th of June to the 21st of June will be the global debut of Gobez for Final Fantasy IV. Now, like Rosa's event, it's going to be have a grand total of four synergy characters. It's going to be the featured character, two additional synergy characters, and the third synergy character will be the Lost Chapter. So, Kefka is going to be the Lost Chapter synergy character for Gobez's event only. Let's to get to get that one right out of the way. Now, on the 12th of June to the 5th of July will be the Summer Festival. Yeah, Part 1 is from the 12th to the 26th of June. Part 2 is going to be the 21st of June to the 5th of July. These also will come with Radiant Artifacts, a.k.a. the Idosha uh, passes for varying characters. Now, you notice here that the the bottom of the calendar will have the last chapter for Lena that's on, that launches on the 17th of June. And again, this is UTC. And you'll notice there's no Renoa. And I did say Renoa was going to be part of the whole thing. She's actually not. She's going to be more than likely going to be part of the July calendar. I'm not... <clears throat> I'm honestly, I'm not sure why that is. But... I can't complain, really. 
if anybody wants my opinion on there. However, I'm a little stumped at, at, at the same time that she's not part of it because Lena is the Lost Chapter Synergy character for Renoa's event. So, so what it does, it's like, gotta take it, take it as you can, take it as you get it. That sort of thing. But yes, we do see here that Rosa is not only part of the main calendar, but she's also part of the June calendar. That's something I personally do not understand. But well, we're probably going to get a surprise event, some stuff at the very end of June, which will likely have Renoa's debut. Again, we just don't know when that exactly is. <coughs> Now we're going to go over the limited time gem sale and support item sale. And once we get more information on this. Now, what it says here, to celebrate the new World of Illusions Ultimate Effort Quest, we're holding a limited time gem sale and a support item sale. So, the event will be starting from the 30th of May at 2 a.m. UTC. So, again, if you're in the United States or west of the UTC time zone, you're going to be getting this earlier than expected. So, and I do, and this, it is pointed out here that both of these sales will last to the 8th of June at 7.59 UTC. So, don't miss your chance to get discounted gems and support items. For me... You see here with these gem bundles, I'm not getting any of these because it's like, there's no real incentive for me to go after them. In all honesty. Now the support item sales, I might go after. Because you have here the Artifacts of All Knowledge, Tomes of Treasure, Fortune Training, you have your five packs here, which are <clears throat> on sale. And then you have the same thing in the individual... Batches, if you will. So, I would definitely go after the uh, artifacts and the tomes more so than the gem sales, if I, if I had to pick between one. And I do want to point out here, before I go into the, uh, the summer boards, get, to give you guys a good idea of what's going on, is that I do have a couple of special presentations coming up in the coming days. One of them is going to be a Renoa versus Gold Best type video where I go over some of the stuff that concerns me about each character. And I was doing a little research on the Opera Amia subreddit as well as the City of Database website. Because that way I really want to get my own, I really want to give my own take on it. And I'm not a meta person. I'm not into the whole meta thing because it's like, because I know for a fact that meta changes. And certain types of units, if they're the most common, they're the easiest to replace. That sort of thing. Now, we're going to go into the up game update, which will give us a little hint on the summoning boards for Ultimate Efren. All that jazz. <coughs> Damn, I need some water. So, now, we notice here that the summoning board has been added to the enhancements page. And then we're going to go into the summoning boards... Shows us what what has to be done here. So it says here you can strengthen your characters with the summon boards. Coupon, choose a board to use. So first you tap the character, then you tap the summon, and then use the summon space for the from the appropriate expert. To go after the passes you want. So you have your attack plus A. You also have a passive here called Fire Resist Up. And these also cost CP points. So it shows you basically all this stuff here. You have the spaces to unlock. So this is so you do have a batch ability. So you tap batch, you tap the spaces you want to unlock, then you tap unlock. But you have to have the, the appropriate amount of points to do so as well. So unlock every space on the summon board to master it. So, and this is per individual character, not for everybody. So, again, keep that in mind when you want to... When you want to really develop your characters. So, we got the World of Illusions 
um, ultimate. So, once this stuff loads up, I'll talk. Be talking again. So here it says. The world of illusions ultimate you can take materials to start further enhance your summits, summit points to strengthen your character. So it's a bit of a win-win here. So you get stuff to enhance your espers, whichever one is released at the moment, which right now global's getting ifrit later on tonight. If you're like basically if you're in the United States. And the summit board to help further enhance the characters. Again, I would take advantage of this for as many characters as possible. Because that way, you can make the most out of the points. In the sense of getting your gems, getting the draw tickets, getting the armor tokens. And the armor tokens is going to be at the very end of this. So, yeah. So, here it says, this event has specially boosted characters. You earn more 70 points with them in your party. So, there are six. And it's confirmed on the Twitch to be... Vanille, Terra, Celeste, Cater, Snow, and Balthier. <clears throat> so once you have once you use one of those, and it's you have to use one of them at a time to get the make the most out of your points. So it's one of them, plus like a tome of training or an artifact of all knowledge. You that's where you're gonna get the most your the most of your points from. And then also, when it comes to a period where it's not being highlighted, sent to like, when the super synergy is not active, you'll see here it says double experience boosted characters also earn more summoning points too. So, if you have a character there with a synergy character, all that stuff, it's like, yeah. But, but here it does say that it does not stick with the effect of the special boost, so... So we're going to go back. We're going to take a quick look at the summoning boards to show you that I am not puffing. So this is a summoning board. So we're just going to go pick a random character. A random character <coughs> that I'm going to be um, picking here out of random. Let's see here. We have all these guys. So we're going to be picking Games. I don't have all day. We're gonna pick Edgar. So the step here is I got picked a character, which is Edgar in this case. Now I'm gonna hit Ifrit, and then this is pretty much the board itself. Because you have here, you have your treasure notes right there. Right there and right there. So, according to Broadway Saiyan, you do have to spend about 1800 points to get to the treasure notes, and that's your only goal with, with, with the character you want to develop. And that's something I do have to agree on because it's like, do you really want to use a character you don't even plan on using, but you want to get the goodies? And again, this is per character, because I'm going to do Sarah. Same thing. So it's basically, all this is per individual character, not every character as a whole. Then we're, like I said, we're going to go into the um, 90 CP armors really quickly. You notice here, I don't have, I have nowhere near any, the, the number to get whatever. <clears throat> so you notice here, there you have your five um, armor tokens for 35 CP armor. Then you have your 20 armor tokens, and this is per copy. So this is one where you really want to take advantage of using as many characters as possible in the um, ultimate if if for it to get as many armor tokens, so that way you can get your 80 armor tokens to MLB whatever armor you want. So. If you want, so I'm going to show you guys something on purpose. So, I don't have Furion's 35 CP armor at all. And you notice here something in red that this is his 90 CP armor, the diamond helmet. And 
I, because I don't have the passive from the dragon armor, I cannot get the diamond helmet. However, we're going to go into Warrior Light, which is a little bit further up. I have the passive for the crystal shield. I can actually go after the diamond shield if I wanted to. But again, you see here, I don't have enough armor tokens to pull it off. So that's what the ultimate Ifrit is there for. And the other Aspers to come. So that way, I can farm up the armor tokens necessary. I can farm up the gems necessary. I also farm up the needed amount draw tickets. So when you have Leta coming out then later on in the year, Rydia, France, slash Ash. I could go after the um, the weapons that I want to go after. And the, and the thing is, I am anti-meta because, again, meta changes. And it's not going to be the meta you want. That, that may not be the meta you want to. That becomes meta. If that makes any sense. And I'm going to go on. I'm going to conclude with my thoughts on, this, on certain things. So, again, I'm a little confused as to why Renoa's not on the calendar. However, they might be there. She might be coming up as a surprise because Lena is the lost chapter character synergy with that event. So, and then with the jet and with the bundles, the special bundles to be more specific, it's a complete skip because there's no real incentive for me to buy anything. But that's just me, and I'm going to end it on that. So, this is Wolfie here. Signing off, and I will catch you all on the flip side.